Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. And it's time now for Legally Speaking with elder law attorney Carol Thomas. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Attorney Thomas. Thank you, Colette. How are you today? I am doing well, thank you. It's spring now, the sun's out, so I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. I know, finally, right? Well, yes. Attorney, attorney Thomas, you know, you have some seminars coming up. Tell us about those seminars. Yes, I always get very excited when my seminars are coming up, and it's actually, they're going to be in two weeks in Saginaw at the Horizons Conference Center. They're actually going to be on Wednesday, March 24th, and I have sessions at 10, 2, and 5. And the seminars are really a lot of fun, Colette. I talk for about 45 minutes, I show slides, and then we have questions and answers, but I really enjoy presenting these seminars. And we know that they are so popular, so why do your seminars always fill to capacity? I think it's because I started 20 years ago, and when people would come to my seminars, I mean, it doesn't sound like an exciting topic to go listen to an elder law attorney, but I think people are very surprised at how I try to make a dry topic really very interesting, and people learn so much that then people tell their friends, their neighbors, their relatives, you really need to go to one of Carol's seminars, and it's just snowballed over the years. I'm just really proud of my seminars and the information that I'm able to share with the community. That's right. Attorney Thomas, why? Why are your seminars so important for the community? Well, I think it's because people don't understand what they need to know. So many times after I present the seminar, someone will come up to me and say, I thought all I needed was a will. And what I cover in my seminars are the different types of estate planning, whether you need a will, whether you need a trust. But the number one thing that people love learning about is if this person that's coming up and talking to me or a loved one needs nursing home care, how am I able to protect their assets? Nursing homes are running nine to ten thousand dollars a month and people are just not prepared to pay that. And when they find out at my seminars that I can protect their assets and get Medicaid to pay for the nursing home, people are thrilled with that information and they know that they need much more than just a will. Now, Attorney Thomas, you are an expert in elder law. Tell us about elder law and your practice. Well, elder law is really a very tiny area of estate planning. Estate planning is traditionally when people talk about what happens when I die, what happens to my home, any money that I have saved. Elder law is the part of estate planning. What happens before I die if there's an incapacity issue? And it's interesting, Colette, there are really very few lawyers in the state of Michigan that do the elder law like we do in our office. This is all that we've done for 20 years. We've set up the estate planning, so we're set for nursing home but it's a very very specialized area of the law and we're so happy with the number of people that we're able to help get everything protected well thank you again attorney thomas for calling in today with this valuable information about your seminars we appreciate it thank you very much of course if you would like any more information head on over to our hot link section that's at wnem.com